Hey guys, it's raining and that's not so much fun as you can see, but I'm kind of cooped up at the school and since there's no students right here to teach today, I thought I'd take a little walk anyway. And while I take this walk, I thought I'd go down to Washington Park, which is right down the street right over there. In fact, it's just right over a hill, but I have to go down and around, as you guys probably know if you live around here. And I'm not going down there just to see a bunch of people. In fact, I'm not think I'm going to see many people there at all, especially with this weather, but really to hear the music of nature. Now you might think, well, music and nature, there's, those are two different things. People make music. Well, yes we do, but just like you can hear the raindrops behind me, you can hear the music of nature played all over the place. Let's go see if we can hear some. So I picked a bit of a rainy day to take a walk down Washington Park, and as you've seen, as you can see behind me, it's all wet and rainy. But even in the rainy days, the rain, especially in the rainiest days, you can really hear sounds from nature, and they're making beautiful little bits of music everywhere you listen. You might hear the birds coming from over there, 
You might hear the pitter-patter of the rain. You might even hear the sounds of the cars in the background creating a musical sound. And this is really the symphony of the park. This is the music of the park, and that's what makes the park beautiful. Is that even in the silence, what we'd say, we can't hear anything, there's so much to actually hear. So the next time you get a chance to go to Washington Park, where I am, and Winston-Salem, or the park near you, listen a little deeper. Listen to what the sounds are saying to you and see what kind of music is being made for you.